Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're exploring the lives of 18 beloved actors who tragically passed away from heart attacks. From Hollywood icons to rising stars, their untimely deaths left a void in the entertainment world. Join us as we pay tribute to these talented individuals and reflect on their lasting legacies. Now, let's get started. Leslie Nielsen was a Canadian-American actor and comedian, born on February 11, 1926, in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. He gained widespread fame for his deadpan comedic performances, particularly in parody films such as Airplane, 1980, and The Naked Gun series, 1988-1994. Nielsen's impeccable timing and delivery made him a beloved figure in the world of comedy. Throughout his career, Nielsen appeared in over 100 films and countless television shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He earned acclaim for his ability to seamlessly transition between comedic and dramatic roles, leaving a lasting impact on audiences. Nielsen's achievements include a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and induction into the Canadian Walk of Fame. Tragically, Leslie Nielsen passed away on November 28, 2010, at the age of 84, due to complications from pneumonia, which was ultimately caused by heart failure. His sudden death left fans mourning the loss of a comedic legend. James Coburn was an American actor born on August 31, 1928, in Laurel, Nebraska, USA. He rose to prominence for his charismatic performances in films such as The Magnificent Seven, 1960, and The Great Escape, 1963, which showcased his talent and versatility as an actor. Coburn's rugged good looks and magnetic presence made him a leading man in Hollywood during the 1960s and 1970s. Throughout his career, Coburn appeared in numerous acclaimed films, earning critical acclaim and several awards, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Affliction, 1997. Unfortunately, James Coburn passed away on November 18, 2002, at the age of 74, due to a heart attack. His sudden death shocked the entertainment industry and left fans mourning the loss of a talented actor whose contributions to cinema continue to be celebrated and remembered. John Candy was a Canadian actor and comedian, born on October 31, 1950, in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. He gained fame for his comedic talents and larger-than-life personality, becoming a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Candy's breakout role came with his performance in the sketch comedy television series SCTV, 1976-1984, where he showcased his comedic prowess and improvisational skills. Throughout his career, Candy appeared in numerous hit films, including Uncle Buck, 1989, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, 1987, and Home Alone, 1990, earning him widespread recognition and acclaim. Tragically, John Candy passed away on March 4, 1994, at the age of 43, due to a heart attack. His untimely death shocked fans and colleagues alike, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and joy. Candy's contributions to comedy continue to be celebrated, and he is remembered as one of the most beloved comedic actors of his generation. James Kahn is an American actor born on March 26, 1940, in the Bronx, New York City, USA. He rose to fame for his compelling performances in films such as The Godfather, 1972, where he portrayed Sonny Corleone, a role that earned him critical acclaim and recognition as a talented actor. Khan's career spanned over five decades, during which he appeared in numerous acclaimed films, including Misery, 1990, and Elf, 2003, showcasing his versatility and talent as an actor. Throughout his career, Khan garnered several award nominations and accolades, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his role in The Godfather. He also won a Golden Globe Award for his performance in the television series Brian's Song, 1971. Sadly, James Kahn passed away on July 6, 2022, 
at the age of 82, due to a heart attack caused by coronary artery disease. Lee Marvin was an American actor born on February 19, 1924, in New York City, New York, USA. He gained fame for his rugged and tough guy persona, often portraying antiheroes and villains in films. Marvin's breakthrough role came with his performance in the war film The Dirty Dozen, 1967, which showcased his talent and versatility as an actor. He continued to captivate audiences with memorable performances in films such as Cat Ballou, 1965, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. Marvin's career spanned over four decades, during which he appeared in numerous acclaimed films and television shows, earning him widespread recognition and acclaim. He was known for his distinctive voice, steely gaze, and commanding presence on screen. Tragically, Lee Marvin passed away on August 29, 1987, at the age of 63, due to a heart attack. His death marked the loss of a talented actor whose contributions to cinema continue to be celebrated and remembered. Paul Winfield was an American actor born on May 22, 1939, in Los Angeles, California, USA. He gained fame for his powerful performances in film, television, and theater. Winfield's breakthrough role came with his portrayal of Nathan Lee Morgan in the critically acclaimed film Sounder, 1972, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Throughout his career, Winfield appeared in numerous notable films and television shows, showcasing his versatility and talent as an actor. He was known for his commanding presence and ability to bring depth and emotion to his characters. Winfield's achievements include nominations for Emmy Awards, NAACP Image Awards, and other honors for his contributions to the entertainment industry. Regrettably, Paul Winfield passed away on March 7, 2004, at the age of 64, due to a heart attack. His sudden death marked the loss of a talented actor whose performances continue to be celebrated and remembered by fans and colleagues alike. Michael Clark Duncan was an American actor born on December 10, 1957, in Chicago, Illinois, USA. He gained fame for his towering stature, deep voice, and memorable performances in film and television. Duncan's breakout role came with his portrayal of John Coffey in the acclaimed film The Green Mile, 1999, for which he received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Throughout his career, Duncan appeared in numerous hit films, including Armageddon, 1998, The Whole Nine Yards, 2000, and Daredevil, 2003, showcasing his versatility and talent as an actor. He was known for his ability to bring both strength and vulnerability to his roles. Duncan's achievements include nominations for Academy Awards, Golden Globe Awards, and other honors for his performances. Tragically, Michael Clark Duncan passed away on September 3, 2012, at the age of 54, due to complications from a heart attack. His sudden death shocked fans and colleagues, marking the loss of a talented actor whose legacy continues to be celebrated in the entertainment industry. Ginger Rogers was an American actress, dancer, and singer born on July 16, 1911, in Independence, Missouri, USA. She gained fame as one half of the legendary dance duo with Fred Astaire in classic Hollywood musicals. Rogers' talent and charm propelled her to stardom, earning her acclaim as one of the greatest dancers in film history. Throughout her career, Rogers appeared in over 70 films, showcasing her versatility as an actress in both musical and dramatic roles. She won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in Kitty Foyle, 1940, further solidifying her status as a Hollywood icon. Rogers' achievements include numerous awards and honors for her contributions to the entertainment industry, including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award, and a Kennedy Center honor. Sadly, Ginger Rogers passed away on April 25, 1995, 
at the age of 83, due to congestive heart failure, a condition often caused by complications from heart disease. Her legacy as a pioneering performer and beloved screen legend continues to inspire audiences worldwide. Burt Reynolds was an American actor, director, and producer, born on February 11, 1936, in Lansing, Michigan, USA. He gained fame for his rugged good looks, charismatic personality, and iconic roles in film and television. Reynolds rose to prominence in the 1970s with breakout performances in films like Deliverance, 1972, and Smokey and the Bandit, 1977, establishing himself as a leading man in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Reynolds appeared in over 100 films and television shows, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards, including a Golden Globe Award for his performance in Boogie Nights, 1997. He also received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for the same role. Sadly, Burt Reynolds passed away on September 6, 2018, at the age of 82, due to cardiac arrest, which was ultimately caused by complications from heart disease. His legacy as a beloved actor and cultural icon continues to be celebrated by fans around the world. Burt Lancaster was an American actor and producer, born on November 2, 1913, in New York City, New York, USA. He rose to fame as one of Hollywood's leading actors during the golden age of cinema. Lancaster's breakthrough role came with his performance in the film The Killers, 1946, which earned him critical acclaim and established him as a star. Throughout his career, Lancaster appeared in over 80 films, showcasing his versatility as an actor in a wide range of roles, from swashbuckling adventures to gritty dramas. He won an Academy Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of an unscrupulous newspaper columnist in Elmer Gantry, 1960. Lancaster's achievements include nominations for multiple Academy Awards and Golden Globe Awards, as well as a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Sadly, Burt Lancaster passed away on October 20, 1994, at the age of 80, due to a heart attack. His contributions to cinema continue to be celebrated by fans and critics alike. Omar Sharif was an Egyptian actor born Michel Dimitri Shalhoub on April 10, 1932, in Alexandria, Egypt. He rose to international fame for his captivating performances in iconic films such as Lawrence of Arabia, 1962, and Dr. Zhivago, 1965. Sharif's suave demeanor, striking looks, and talent as an actor earned him widespread recognition and acclaim. Throughout his career, Sharif appeared in over 100 films, showcasing his versatility in a variety of roles spanning different genres. He garnered numerous awards and nominations for his performances, including Golden Globe Awards and Academy Award nominations. Outside of acting, Sharif was an accomplished bridge player, earning accolades in the world of competitive bridge tournaments. Tragically, Omar Sharif passed away on July 10, 2015, at the age of 83, due to complications from a heart attack. His legacy as an international film star and cultural icon continues to be celebrated by audiences around the world. Richard Keel was an American actor born on September 13, 1939, in Detroit, Michigan, USA. He became famous for his imposing stature, standing at 7 feet 1.5 inches tall, and his iconic role as the villainous henchman Jaws in the James Bond films The Spy Who Loved Me, 1977, and Moonraker, 1979. Keel's towering presence and memorable performances in these films solidified his status as a beloved figure in the world of cinema. Throughout his career, Keel appeared in over 40 films and numerous television shows, often typecast in roles that capitalized on his intimidating physical appearance. He also lent his distinctive voice to animated characters in various projects. 
Keel's achievements include leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide with his portrayal of Jaws in the James Bond franchise. Sadly, Richard Keel passed away on September 10, 2014, at the age of 74, due to a heart attack. His contributions to film continue to be remembered and celebrated by fans of the James Bond series and beyond. James Gandolfini was an American actor born on September 18, 1961, in Westwood, New Jersey, USA. He became famous for his groundbreaking portrayal of mob boss Tony Soprano in the acclaimed television series The Sopranos, 1999-2007. Gandolfini's complex and nuanced performance earned him widespread critical acclaim and numerous awards, including three Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Throughout his career, Gandolfini appeared in a variety of film and television roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He starred in notable films such as True Romance, 1993, Get Shorty, 1995, and Zero Dark Thirty, 2012. Gandolfini's achievements include being recognized as one of the greatest actors of his generation, with his portrayal of Tony Soprano leaving an indelible mark on television history. Tragically, James Gandolfini passed away on June 19, 2013, at the age of 51, due to a heart attack while on vacation in Rome, Italy. His untimely death shocked fans and colleagues, marking the loss of a talented actor whose legacy continues to be celebrated. Celeste Holm was an American actress born on April 29, 1917, in New York City, New York, USA. She rose to fame for her captivating performances in film, television, and theater, becoming one of Hollywood's leading actresses during the mid-20th century. Holm's breakthrough role came with her portrayal of Anne Detry in the classic film Gentleman's Agreement, 1947, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout her career, Holm appeared in numerous acclaimed films, including All About Eve, 1950, and High Society, 1956, showcasing her versatility and talent as an actress. She also had success on Broadway, earning Tony Award nominations for her performances in various stage productions. Holm's achievements include winning an Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Sadly, Celeste Holm passed away on July 15, 2012, at the age of 95, due to natural causes, including heart-related issues. Her contributions to entertainment continue to be celebrated by fans of classic cinema. Peggy Lee was an American jazz and pop singer, songwriter, composer, and actress born on May 26, 1920, in Jamestown, North Dakota, USA. She rose to fame for her sultry voice, distinctive style, and prolific career spanning over six decades. Lee's breakthrough came with her hit song Why Don't You Do Right in 1942, which catapulted her to stardom. Throughout her career, Lee released numerous successful albums, including Black Coffee, 1953, and Is That All There Is, 1969, and collaborated with renowned musicians such as Benny Goodman and Duke Ellington. She also ventured into acting, earning an Academy Award nomination for her role in Pete Kelly's Blues, 1955. Lee's achievements include multiple Grammy Awards and induction into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Tragically, Peggy Lee passed away on January 21, 2002, at the age of 81, due to complications from a heart attack. Her contributions to music and entertainment continue to be celebrated and admired by audiences worldwide. Alan Thicke was a Canadian actor, songwriter, and television personality born on March 1, 1947, in Kirkland Lake, Ontario, Canada. He became famous for his role as Jason Seaver, the father figure in the hit sitcom Growing Pains, 1985-1992, which garnered him widespread recognition and acclaim. Thicke's career spanned over several decades, 
during which he worked as a television host, actor, and composer. He also wrote theme songs for several popular television shows, including Different Strokes and The Facts of Life. Thicke's achievements include multiple awards and nominations for his contributions to the entertainment industry, including a Golden Globe nomination for Growing Pains. Tragically, Alan Thicke passed away on December 13, 2016, at the age of 69, due to a ruptured aorta, which resulted from a heart attack while playing ice hockey with his son. His sudden death shocked fans and colleagues, marking the loss of a beloved television icon. Constance Dowling was an American actress born on July 24, 1920, in New York City, New York, USA. She gained fame for her beauty, talent, and captivating performances on screen during the golden age of Hollywood. Dowling's breakthrough role came with her portrayal of the seductive femme fatale, Lorna, in the film noir classic Black Angel, 1946, which propelled her to stardom. Throughout her career, Dowling appeared in a variety of films, including Boston Blackie and the Law, 1946, and Up in Central Park, 1948, showcasing her versatility as an actress. However, despite her potential, Dowling's career failed to reach the heights of some of her contemporaries. Dowling's achievements include her contributions to the film industry during the post-war era. Tragically, Constance Dowling passed away on October 28, 1969, at the age of 49, due to a heart attack. Her untimely death marked the loss of a talented actress whose potential was cut short. Clara Bow was an American actress born on July 29, 1905, in Brooklyn, New York, USA. She rose to fame as one of the most iconic actresses of the silent film era, earning the nickname The It Girl for her captivating screen presence and vivacious personality. Bo's breakthrough role came in the film It, 1927, where she embodied the epitome of 1920s flapper culture and became a cultural phenomenon. Throughout her career, Bo appeared in over 50 silent and early sound films, becoming one of the highest paid actresses of her time. She was known for her natural acting style and ability to connect with audiences on an emotional level. Bo's achievements include being one of the first major Hollywood stars to transition successfully from silent films to talkies. Clara Bow passed away on September 27, 1965, at the age of 60, due to a heart attack. Her contributions to cinema continue to be celebrated, and she remains an enduring symbol of the Roaring Twenties. Peter Finch was an English-born Australian actor born on September 28, 1916, in London, England. He gained international fame for his powerful performances on stage and screen. Finch's breakthrough role came with his portrayal of a deranged television anchorman in the film Network, 1976, for which he posthumously won the Academy Award for Best Actor, becoming the first actor to receive this honor posthumously. Throughout his career, Finch appeared in numerous acclaimed films, including Sunday Bloody Sunday, 1971, and The Flight of the Phoenix, 1965, earning him critical acclaim and multiple award nominations. Finch's achievements include winning two BAFTA awards and being honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Tragically, Peter Finch passed away on January 14, 1977, at the age of 60, due to a heart attack. His untimely death marked the loss of a talented actor whose legacy continues to be celebrated by fans and colleagues alike. David Carradine was an American actor born on December 8, 1936, in Hollywood, California, USA. He hailed from a family of actors, with his father being noted actor John Carradine. Carradine gained fame for his role as Kwai Chong Kane in the television series Kung Fu, 1972-1975, which earned him widespread recognition and established him as a cultural icon. Throughout his career, 
Carradine appeared in a wide range of film and television roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He was known for his deep voice, commanding presence, and martial arts skills, which he often incorporated into his performances. Carradine's achievements include nominations for Golden Globe Awards and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Unfortunately, David Carradine passed away on June 3, 2009, at the age of 72, due to accidental asphyxiation. While the exact circumstances surrounding his death remain controversial, it is believed to have been caused by autoerotic asphyxiation. And that concludes our journey through the lives of these remarkable actors. Their contributions to film and television will forever be remembered and cherished. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.